So, every now and then, I like to scroll over and listen to a Cynthia G video. Because this uh, girl, she uploaded this video yesterday. Now, I would say about once a month, I'll listen to one of her videos. And I listen because she is very clever with how she has taken black men's talking points and used them against them. I will name two men, black men, who primarily echo where she echoes them. Elijah Muhammad and Dr. Amos Wilson. To a lesser degree, probably to an equal degree, Dr. John Henrik Clark. All she does is use the things that they have pointed out against black men. Basically, put their words in your face. This is why I tell you there's no alternative to having a nation, land. Reparations in the form of a check only, that won't cut it. You're still asking or begging to be taken care of. You understand? You, there's no way around that. And Cynthia G and her crowd they understand that they can use these talking points against black men no matter how much money you make. She attacks black men who make money in this video. She, she's done it for a long time because she understands that there has to be white men behind the creation of black men who make a lot of money. And this is the same thing that all three of those black men used to talk about. That you're still a slave, no matter how much money you make, no matter how good of a job, your education, whatever. You're not building the schools, you're not making the laws, you're not ruling your nation. People, you gotta understand, this is a natural state of existence that black people are denied. And there will always be a problem with that, especially in our situation where we live under the rule of a people who like to mistreat us. And really, there are plenty of white people who would not mind being separated from black people. There's plenty of them. They do it now. This is what I'm saying. White people separate themselves now where they live in such white areas, they never see black people. And they're perfectly okay with that. It's only black people who feel like they could not take not living around other races of people. It is insane. It's the damnedest thing. So we're like kids. We, we operate like kids. We, we don't even make diapers for our own babies. We don't even make our own underwear. We don't do nothing for ourselves. That's why she can use these talking points. You don't build, right? She can use these talking points and she can own each and every hotep black power individual out there by sticking to those talking points. And it's disappointing, I thought it was disappointing, that Tariq didn't point, the, point that out. He's just, you know, started to clown her for a wig and all this kind of stuff. But I was hoping that he would, would point that out. That she All she does is use, uses black men's talking points. But she has developed, I can kind of understand why, why I did. Because she has developed genuine bitterness towards black men. She, she could not be in a relationship with any black man in this country. She'd be disappointed, no matter how much money he made. As long as she knows you're living under white man's rules, 
you were educated in a white man's school, and that you most likely got a job from a white man. No matter how much money you make, she would be disappointed in you. That's why she's going to stay single for the rest of her life. She's staying single not because she's not attractive or anything like that. She's going to stay single because she thoroughly understands the world that she is missing out on being the counterpart of a group of men who are ruled over by another group of men. And my thing is talking to black men, you should feel ashamed about that. Should you should feel ashamed. That's the black men, we we've lost our shame of not having our own nation. That's sad. That's sad. We gotta do the look. All I'm saying, y'all want to talk about reparations and all this. It has to include land in the form of separate land, our own nation. If you want to see other races, you want to talk to your, your white friends, you can do Zoom chat and all that type of stuff. But blacks and whites cannot coexist peacefully and even if they could you should not want to live under the rule under the domination of another group of people it cripples black people bad to do that black people operate best when they operate exclusively under their own cultures we got history to prove that a long history to prove that to be the case. And every time black people have adopted foreign cultures and ideologies, they've been destroyed. And if black people in America don't do the same, they will be destroyed. And don't think it can't happen because there's been plenty of black groups all over the world throughout history who have been completely eliminated from the face of the planet.